All right, so we're gonna take a look at this Echo PPT 2620 power pruner, pole saw, or stick saw. So let's take a closer look at it. All right, so we'll take a look at the engine. So this is a, I believe it's 25 cc. It is a 50 to one mix. I only use the uh, Echo fuel that comes in a can. It's just easier, don't have to mix it, don't have to worry about it going bad. And it seems to run really well on that. You got the choke in the back here. There's a primer bulb. You get your pull start. Um, it only, I think I only pulled it once when I used it. It started up right away. Um, I don't even know if you need to prime it. I primed it a few times, but like I said, it fired right off. And this is the first like uh, weed whacker size engine I've had from Echo. I had a couple chainsaws that I liked. So that's kind of why I went with the Echo brand. Moving down to the handle here. So this is your, your power station here. So this is like the safety. You gotta have that down before you can pull the, the trigger here to get your bar going and your chain. Uh, up on top here is gonna be your run switch. So if that's, uh, if it's pulled back like this is stop, forward is to start it. There's a clip here, it does come with like a sh uh, shoulder strap. It's, it's pretty cheap, but it, it comes with one. And here's kind of where your business end starts here with your pole. And uh, we'll go down to the other end there and take a look at that. All right, so here's the business end. This is gonna be where you put your bar and chain oil. It's an automatic oiler. And uh, it does leak oil. That's why I have this paper towel down. And if you watch any of my other videos, I always say that if a chainsaw leaks, leaks oil, uh, it's a professional grade. Because I had two saws like that that would leak and one that didn't. So that must have been like the homeowner's type. Um, this leaks, so this must be professional grade. Um, it's got a 12 inch bar on it. And it does a nice job. I used it for cutting down some pretty decent stuff on an ash tree and then on a maple as well. And it's really nice. So we'll talk about the uh, length and how you, how that all works. So just as it is now, from the uh, tip of the, the bar to the end of the engine is nine feet. And then there's a, uh, like a jam nut you loosen and you can get another three feet out of it, which will get you to 12. I almost gotta have the uh, wide angle lens on here. This thing is really, really long. So uh, the other thing is if you're trying to put this in a short bed pickup truck, um, it's not gonna fit with the tailgate up. Um, I got a six foot four box and it, it's close, but not quite if you go diagonally. So I'll show you how to lengthen this thing here. All right, so let's uh, show you how to do this. So right here you got this T-bar that you're gonna kind of loosen, and then you're just gonna take it and it'll slide. Probably gonna go out of the frame. Like I said, I need to a wide angle for this. And it, there is a stop, so you can't pull it too far. And once you have it out to your desired length, just kind of tighten it back up again. And like I said, that gives you an extra three feet. All right, so here it is, completely expanded. Like I said, that's 12 feet. Um, what I used to do for trimming the trees is stand on a ladder with a pruner and snip everything off. And uh, you still couldn't get everything because I don't have a step ladder that's tall enough. And this got up nicely, and that was all from the ground. Now I suppose you could do something stupid and stand on a step ladder with this thing to get even more height, but um, this is sufficient. This gets everything up off the ground, anything that was hanging down. Um, the other thing the, uh, the guy at the store was saying is a lot of guys buy these for making trails in the woods to keep the trails nice, and I said, you know, that'll work really well for us too because I got 12 acres that uh, we have trails in, and it's hard keeping them nice and clear and this will do a nice job we can trim up uh, the tractor won't hit anything then when i go through with the uh, rollover bar 
So that'll be nice. So here is the other stuff that comes with it. You got a shoulder strap and a uh, spark plug. And then this is for the, the bar nuts on the other end, flat blade screwdriver, uh, your Torx for the fasteners that hold everything together. So I paid 601 for this one out the door and that was with a $20 setup fee. Um, I didn't get it with the 25% off sale. Um, they weren't running that at that dealership at this time. Um, I didn't want to wait. This is the only one that they had. And uh, just from calling around, I was asking about some Honda ATVs and the two larger dealerships around here. They don't have anything, not, not the model that I want. Um, and knowing from buying our boat and uh, that type of thing, um, lawnmowers, I was talking about a uh, different lawnmower at the dealership and they said they weren't going to get any in until July so I wasn't going to wait to buy this just to save uh, the 25% I figure I'll just I'll take the hit so I have it so I can get the work done instead of you know buying it at the end of the season or whatever and then not being able to get it done all summer so I think uh, the list price is like 540 normally or something like that so it'll be a pretty nice unit here. Uh, we'll take it out to the woods and we'll do some some trimming with it later on and give you guys an idea of what it is. But definitely if you're looking at uh, doing some tree trimming, that type of thing, I highly recommend getting a stick saw, whether it's an echo or a steel. This makes extremely short work and uh, way safer for using than uh, going up on a ladder and trying to do it yourself with either a small handsaw or a pruner. So, alright, that's going to be it for now.